Folks, I just got this new firmware, 1.4 for my 7300, and I am just amazed at the, the change this has made. Now, I've got a Kenwood TS-890, and the scope on it is so nice because it's got scroll mode on it. Now, let me show you what this does. You know, before, let me get this to where, uh, this is the way the 7300 7, used to work. So I've got uh, my band edge set for 14 megahertz up to 14.03. And what happens is when you get to the end, your cursor disappears. So you got to change edges. But with the new scroll mode, you push the center fix button for one second, and you see this scroll mode pops up. And now when you get up to the top of the band, presto, you get a new range. So now you're 14030 on up to 05560, and then right it just keeps going. This is incredible. I hope they implement this on the uh, IC7610. So I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on how to update the soft, the uh, firmware. But um, I just use my uh, little SD card. And um, the first thing you do is put it in the rig and go to uh, format the card. And then... Uh, plug this into your PC and download the firmware to the uh, directory on this just just on the root directory then put it back in and push uh, push and hold update firmware and when the, the, the agreement comes up you hold that in that's one of the things if you just tap it it doesn't work that's a little secret so push and hold the agreement thing when, where it says yes and it'll update the firmware so that's the first thing it'll do is totally change your scope and you can still go between the different uh, modes by uh, going to center uh, right there is center mode and that works just like it used to and fix mode is just what it says and as you can see my cursor was out of sight and then Again, to get to scroll mode, hold it in for a second, and voila, there it is, you're in scroll mode. And that's the way it should have worked all along, and it's fantastic. Now, the next thing, um, the next thing they did was change the uh, menu. So now you've got menu one and menu two. That kind of reminds me of my IC 9700. So they've got room to add more things. Now, on menu two, they added this FT8. This is preset. <clears throat> and you can go in here and preset settings and uh, choose the setting that you want. Um, there is a instruction book on the ICOM website that you can download. Now, to get the firmware and to get to this manual and all this other stuff, you have to go to the ICOM Japan website. So, easy way to get there is just go to Google and type in ICOM Japan and then click on uh, uh, software firmware updates and uh, then you'll find it. Okay, and the next thing they added was... Uh, uh, the, okay, changes to the multifunction dial, uh, and this is pretty cool too. Uh, for instance, here in CW mode, I've got power, key speed, and pitch. Uh, if I want to change my key speed, I have to tap the multifunction button and go in here and tap uh, the key speed, and then I can adjust the key speed. But now, if you just hold this, now the multi-function button becomes the speed control. So changing speed is done like so. 
And if you get tired of that, hold it in. If it disappears, goes back to the way it was. And now it's your, uh, your course tuning button. Um, you'll find all the mo different modes, uh, of course, have different items in their window. As you can see here, monitor. So if I want to change uh, my gain to be the default knob, I can adjust my mic gain from out here without having to go into that. But that's just the beginning. For instance, um, let's say you want to go to uh, a noise blanker. If you go to noise blanker and turn it on, you get this is off and on. If you hold it in, <clears throat> you get your little menu over here. And now the same thing happens. You can change any of these to be your multifunction knob. For instance, uh, I could change the noise blanker to be the multifunction, and I could do it like that. Yeah, I don't know how much good that is, but uh, it's there if you need it. Um, they've rearranged a lot of stuff on the screen here, and you'll the instruction manual tells you where everything is, but uh, I think the clock has moved a little bit, and that there's uh, there's a whole bunch of things that have relocated. And uh, let's see, the other thing they added was uh, the the front key the front key customization feature. Um, that is, uh, let's see, we go into uh, menu set function. There you are front key customized and now we can change the front keys the the box break in the auto tune up and down uh, channels we can change those to like something else and save it so that's that's kind of neat too I'm sure people find a good a lot of good uses for that so thank you icom for the great updates on the 7300 now and I'm sure enjoying the scope more than anything else.